Archer City, Texas, one of the classic American small towns. Archer City was the setting for the last picture show, the book and movie that captured the essence of small town life in 1950s Texas. But while it may be Mayberry with a Texas twang, in the fall of 1990, the town sheriff proved that he was no Andy Griffith when he was accused of handling a female suspect in a way that Aunt B definitely would not have approved of. To think about it was like a, um, like a movie. It's a very unique community. The last place you'd expect a murder. Nothing much ever happens in Archer City, Texas, and that's the way people like it, frankly. But on the night of July 3rd, 1990, it seemed like everything was happening at once. He grabbed a barbecue pit or something and threw it through the plate glass window. All Mr. Bennett would tell me was that his wife shot me, uh, using very colorful language. He raised the gun up and pointed it at me, then I knew the time for talk is gone. <laughs> and that was only the beginning. By fall, all heck had broken loose in the conservative, God-fearing town. The chief deputy at the time came in and advised us that the sheriff had been arrested for uh, sexual assault. Yes, sir, it was going to be a fall to remember. The community as a whole was stunned that someone would come in and accuse our sheriff of, of committing that kind of a crime. Deep in the heart of Texas, 150 miles northwest of Dallas, Archer City is a rural remnant of the Old West, a place where cowboy hats aren't just a fashion statement, and the cattle outnumber the people by a wide margin. In Archer, beef, nine times out of 10, really is what's for dinner. The closest thing to hustle and bustle in this town of 1800 is the restless western wind sweeping across the plains. But for locals, Archer City's slow-paced solitude is what gives their hometown its charm. I like the country life. In town, I seem like I'm just all cried up, you know. And, uh, and out here, it's just really nice. You know, go to Austin or Dallas or, or somewhere, and it's amazing to me how many people there are in those places. And, and there's no time during the, if you're out doing something, there's, there's not a time when you're not around a lot of people. In Archer City, there are no faces in the crowd. Heck, there aren't even crowds. And it isn't just a town where everybody knows everybody. It's a town where everybody knows everybody's parents, their aunts and uncles, cousins and in-laws. You just go to the bank and you'll say, uh, "Do you have you seen my sister? Well, she's at the post office. I saw her. And you don't have, everybody can just tell you where everybody is. It's kind of like living in a fishbowl. You know that you can't get by with anything or that anything that you do or say is going to come back to haunt you, so you better be careful. There are, however, some things that set Archer City apart from other small towns across the American heartland. Archer City just happens to be the hometown and favorite setting of one of America's most prolific authors, Larry McMurtry. From Lonesome Dove to Terms of Endearment, McMurtry is a best-selling author whose works have reached an even wider audience thanks to film and television. Not every small town can lay claim to having a Pulitzer Prize winning author living in their hometown. When he isn't writing, McMurtry runs a used book emporium on the square. His drawing power is also what keeps the Lonesome Dove Inn in business. And it was McMurtry who gave the town its most famous landmark. Built in 1928, the pine-sized Royal Theater had star billing in McMurtry's novel, The Last Picture Show, and also played a starring role in Peter Bogdanovich's movie adaptation. Shot in Archer City, the film launched the careers of Sybil Shepherd.